What is going on guys? Welcome back to Talking Jets with Tigo. My name is Tigo and today we're going to be talking about the five key keys to victory that the New York Jets need to implement into their game plan to be victorious against the Baltimore Ravens week one. Let's hop right into the video. Um, number one, the Baltimore Ravens offensive line unit is not good. Uh, they've got a lot of Average players on their roster on the offensive line. And they've got one player who I will say is absolutely elite, but he also hasn't played football in two years. And so try to take advantage of the fact that Stanley hasn't played in two years. And there's even rumors that he might not be able to play in the game, which is a big, big help for us. They've got two really, really average guards, uh, a brand new rookie center in Tyler Linderbaum, and a guy that used to be a Jet, and we should know his playbook, and we should know how to beat him in Morgan Moses. This offensive line is not a great unit. It's not a, a unit that we should be scared of. And with our defensive line and Quinn and Williams uh, and Carl Lawson and Jonathan Franklin Myers and Jermaine Johnson and Michael Clemens and Solomon Thomas, we should be able to be disruptive and get into the backfield. And one of the things I really want to see is a lot of blitz coverages and packages so that we can really overload this offensive line. And that leads me into our second point and the second key to victory, which is force Lamar Jackson to beat us with his arms. One of the things that historically Lamar Jackson struggles with is blitzes. If we can surround him with green jerseys uh, early on and we can surround him and get him flustered, if we can force him to throw the ball, um, that's how we beat him. If he doesn't have time to scramble and escape and Again, this is a lot easier said than done. Lamar Jackson is an elite runner, but one thing that he's not is an average quarterback, right? He's a below average thrower of the football, but he compensates that with an elite athletic running ability. He runs like a wide receiver or a running back um, with more weight on him. He's super shifty and he's super fluid and if you can force him to use his arm by blitzing and containing him and holding the edge and not giving him a way to escape but forcing him to get rid of the ball especially with this wide receiver room in Baltimore that's really really weak um while I believe and I like Bateman Bateman's not a superstar or anything like that yet he was hurt last year and so take advantage of the fact that they've got really only one wide receiver who, in my opinion, is a high-end wide receiver two, low-end wide receiver one in the NFL. Um, so force Lamar to beat us with his arms. Now, things that the Jets can control and things that we have to do is, and I think this is the priority, is our wide receivers need to go out and earn their paychecks. This secondary unit in Baltimore is really good. Marlon Humphreys, uh, P uh, Marcus Peters. Is it Marlon Humphreys? I know it's Marcus Peters. Uh, and then, yeah, it is Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Williams are really, really good defensive backs in this league. Um, we don't know who's going to be starting on the other side of the safety, whether it's Clark, whether it's Hamilton. But whoever it is, uh, I, I'm more scared of Clark than I am of Hamilton. If Hamilton's on the field, I kind of want to bully him um, just because he's not great in coverage and we know that. But our wide receivers need to go earn their paycheck, and I think that they can. We saw uh, Elijah Moore against um, the Miami Dolphins last year going up against a top 10 cornerback in this league in um, – Xavier Howard and torching him and winning the day and like getting open. And it, at that point it was a Flacco and E and it was, they were moving the sticks and they were moving the ball well. And he was being really, really creative there. And so it can't just be Elijah. Elijah needs to go and be elite and, and really bully these corners and these safeties. But so does Garrett Wilson. So does Corey Davis. So does Braxton Berrios. If Denzel Mims gets any snaps, so does Denzel Mims. These wide receivers need to go out and earn their paychecks. Um, 
Next thing is uh, another thing that's in our control is we need to control the time of possession. If we can turn our drives into six, seven, eight, nine minute drives, really control the ball, dink and dunk, little moves, uh, a, a battle of attrition, and just keep the ball in our control for as long as possible. That's how you win games. The New York Jets were the worst team last year in time of possession. And now with an addition of a brand new running backs who are supposed to be elite, a uh, much, much better wide receiver room that's incredibly deep, you know, we should be able to control the ball and have a nice time of possession stat by the end of the game. If we can control time of possession, we control the game. And I think for us to win this game, we need to hold Baltimore to under 21 points. If we can hold them under 21 or 24 points, I think this Jets offense is good for 24 to 27 points against the Baltimore Ravens. If we let them control the ball and let them run all the way up and down the field on us, and they have the time of possession battle and they're winning that, it's going to be hard to get into a shootout with this Baltimore Ravens squad if they're able to run the ball and control time of possession. Um, and lastly... And this is the thing that's the hardest thing that's going to have to do. But if we can do it, and that is going to be managing Andrews. He is their number one wide receiver. He is their number one tight end. He is their number one blocker. He is their number one everything on that team. That offense runs through Mark Andrews, is facilitated by Mark Andrews, and everything like that. And pay attention that I said manage Mark Andrews, not eliminate him because no one can eliminate Mark Andrews. Teams have been trying for two years now to eliminate Mark Andrews and it's very, very difficult, borderline impossible. But if we can manage Mark Andrews, if we can limit his explosive plays, if we can hold him, I'm going to steal this from Buffalo Jet fan, if we can hold him to under 90 yards, if we can keep him under 90 yards and un and only give him one touchdown, because to expect him not to get a touchdown in that game is, I think, a little bit naive, but if we can manage Mark Andrews and not let him march up and down the field on us, by getting creative and blitzing with some amoeba fronts and different things like that, if we can manage what he can do and the impact that he has on this game, we can definitely win this game. Let me know what you guys think is a key for the Jets to win this game. I'm going to say it, and, and, and I believe this. I think the Jets are going to win this game. This game matters more to the New York Jets. It matters more to the city uh, and the state of New York, especially on 9-11. I do not see how we lose this game just because there's so many things going in our favor. Um, and I really believe in this team. I, I really, really do. And... I've said this a couple of times, but I don't think that the Ravens are that scary of a team. And I think the league is going to kind of be put on notice that like, hey, the Ravens are kind of mid. They're not that great. Lamar's not an all-star quarterback. He's a really good athletic quarterback. But as I was taught by the comment section before, he's, he, he's, he, he's probably going to be like Mike Vick. He's a really, really good athlete, but he's a God, below average arm. Mike Vick had like a six, like a 50 something complete percent completion percentage or something like that. And that's like I said, Lamar Jackson's an elite runner. He's a below average quarterback. So if we can force him to beat us with his arms, that's how we're going to win the game. If we can manage Andrews, that's how we're going to beat the, the, this game. If we can abuse their offensive line and how new and how uncohesive that offensive line unit is we can win this game and if we can control the time of possessions with our wide receivers eating and our running backs running we can win this game let me know in the comment section below what you guys think how do we win this game against the baltimore ravens and last but not least go jets